Hello Collective, welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so, so much for stopping by. I'm so happy to have you guys here. So happy to be doing this for you guys. This is going to be a message for the Collective. It is a general reading. It is for all signs, you guys. So it is for all Zodiac signs. Please remember to use your discernment always Take what resonates and leave the rest, you guys. We're going to go ahead and tap in, take a look at your energy. Um, thank you guys so, so much for all of your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. As always, you guys, I appreciate you. Thank you for joining me on this journey of enlightenment. And I'm sending you guys love, light, gratitude, some Palo Santos. Yes, get some of that good energy. There we go. You guys, we're going to go ahead and tap into your energy. I am picking up on a lot of, I'm picking up on a lot of nostalgia, right? I'm picking up on a lot of, it's like there's someone that is thinking about you a lot. You're heavily on someone's mind. I'm even picking up on a presence, right? So I feel like there's someone that is, and you may be able to pick up on this as well. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, please uh, take it how it resonates. But I feel like you may be picking up on an energy or a presence, someone coming towards you. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and tap into this energy and see what is going on for the collective, y'all. I can't wait to see because heavy energy surrounding this. So um, we're going to take a look at what... Um, the energy is the true intentions going forward things like that so you guys let's go ahead and hop in please remember as always only take what resonates leave the rest all energy is fluid it can be for your past your present your future um he she him her people places things y'all let's go ahead and tap in archangel michael please protect us during this reading any negative energy please return to sender Tell me I ain't tapped in, you guys. There it is. The first card out. Six of Cups. Six of Cups, you guys. Somebody is heavily thinking about you. If you are picking up on someone's energy, if you are thinking about someone a lot, this is someone that I feel like is from your past. So, now, time is relative, you guys, so, you know, but I'm picking up on somebody. This is someone that you would never expect, right? This is someone you would least expect, someone you would never imagine. This is a person you would never imagine that's about to make an appearance or something like that, Divine Feminine, but they're definitely thinking about you. So I feel like this is someone that is from a distant past somebody an ex right yeah and i feel like this is someone that you you would never think is thinking about you so for some of you guys this is you you're having like i feel like thoughts about someone right someone from your past um this is someone that I'm picking up separation and no contact, right? There could have been a difficult ending with this person, Divine Feminine. That's what I'm picking up on. So there could have been a difficult ending, a lot of heartbreak. I feel like this was someone that you had a very strong a attraction, but also a very strong connection, right? There's an awakening or something, but this person is thinking about you obsessively, like thinking about you, right? Remember I said that nostalgia, and that's what the Six of Cups is, somebody fantasizing, thinking about the past, right? And I'm seeing the Queen of Wands, right? So this is action, right? You showed this person something. You showed this person. I definitely get because you're a divine feminine. You showed this person love that they never knew existed. 
but there was something like you really showed this person something you were you were vulnerable you were open with this person you were honest you were real you were pure that's what i'm seeing with this so action oriented here with the queen of wands so you were that energy to this person that was you would act on things i mean i'm getting emotionally physically spiritually mentally right it was like there was nothing you weren't holding back you weren't playing games right and this is what this divine masculine is nostalgic for they're missing that energy this is something this divine masculine has never felt since you divine feminine and i feel like this is someone from your past and you're starting to think about this person and i feel like you're maybe wondering like why is this person like why am i having like these intrusive thoughts about this person why is this person keep popping into my head right why are you seeing you could be i feel like for some of you guys divine feminine you're seeing signs and synchronicities because being in a divine energy the universe sends signs and synchronicities all the time right but when you're a divine being right you simp you pick up on those signs and synchronicities right it's like you see them whereas somebody who's not awakened yet or someone that is not a divine being they don't see this, but you're picking up on these signs and synchronicities. I feel like there's a lot of, you're seeing these angel numbers. You could be seeing 222. Two, two. Um, you could also be seeing angel numbers 1111, 1010. Um, you could be seeing triple fives. You could even be seeing 911. Yeah, you guys, I'm telling you. There's a, and I feel like you're hearing songs that remind you of this person. Maybe songs that were from that era or something of the songs that were out when you were together with this person. That's what I'm getting, right? Or movies, music videos, something like that, right? Or you could find yourself even humming a song that reminds you of this person. And you're like, where did that come from? There's a transformation happening. Death card. Transformative energy. There's a change with this person. There's a shift going on within the universe, the energy surrounding you, Divine Feminine. I'm picking up on that. This is someone that you would least expect. You would never imagine that this person would be trying to spin the block. Yes. Because I'm getting the energy, this is someone, this is not someone that's like in the energy of like distortion or fragmented, right? Not at all. This is someone that is thinking about you, they're romanticizing you, they're fantasizing about you. They know what they want, okay? This is someone that's also curious. So this is someone that is very alert to their own feelings, right? I'm getting alert to self, their own feelings, their own emotions. So this is someone that may have been, not may have, they were fragmented in the past because I'm picking up on. This was one of the most difficult separations that you've ever experienced, right? You know, it could be um, a union. Um, it could have been you know, something, it, it could have even been a marriage. I, I don't know, but I'm seeing here, this was one of the most difficult separations that you have ever experienced, Divine Feminine. And this is that energy. Hopefully that's helping it resonate with someone because I'm getting a lot of strong energy, right? That there is someone, and this is someone that you would least expect, right? that remembers they're remembering true love right your love was real we have the star card here that's what they're remembering that is what they're remembering right aquarius energy showing up here right wow you were the one 
I just, like, I just teared up. You were the one. They're happily ever after. You were the one that got away. You were the, you're the one that got away and this person's realizing it, but I feel like it's been an extended period of time. So I feel like you guys have had you guys have had like I feel like multiple unions and been you know you guys have went your own separate ways and living your own lives right and this person's realizing that you were there happily ever after divine feminine there's something going on in this person's life that's definitely triggering this I feel like there's an upheaval, some type of upheaval, right? And this divine masculine is remembering you. This upheaval could be over you even after all of this time. Wow, okay. So there's a shift going on in the universe there is something is going on. I feel like you're picking up on this energy, right? The universe has a way of moving things around, right? I just heard this chest, not checkers, right? Why is the death card here? Please clarify the death card. Scorpio energy, thank you. Wow. It's clarified by the Four of Pentacles. There's the angel number 1111 showing up, confirmation. Something's coming to an end. There's a union that's coming to an end. You hold the key to this divine masculine's heart. This is the Four of Pentacles. This divine masculine has loved you this whole time time the universe is bringing you in harmony with this person you could be picking up on the signs and synchronicities divine feminine I'm getting heavy energy here the universe is bringing you guys back into union for some of you guys this is very specific for some of you guys divine feminine you have not been able to form a strong attachment with anyone since this person it's very specific right or you could have been in unions that come to an end or you could have just been in hermit mode that's a stretch but i feel like that's specific for someone right This was a lesson that this divine masculine had to learn. This is heavy twin flame energy here, you guys. Heavy twin flame energy because there's been an extended period of time between this union with you and this person. Whoa. Okay. Spirit, please get... Wow. Thank you. Okay. Deep regrets for how things ended. They know that you didn't deserve what they did. Deep regret. So this person is nostalgic for the good times. This person is nostalgic for the good times, right? But they're also remembering where they went wrong. And there's a lot of regret here, Divine Feminine. Wow, they had their divine counterpart with you and they blew it. That's what I'm getting. That's that's what this divine masculine is thinking. I feel like there's a lot of reminiscing. This divine masculine is reminiscing about good times. They're reminiscing about you. 
they're reminiscing about and just like remembering everything, replaying it in their head. Whomever they were in union with, wow, I just said were. <laughs> Something's coming to an end with this divine masculine. Whoever this person is, I just heard you always love divine feminine. There is a heated argument going on over you after all of this time. The full part. A lot of regret. This divine masculine realizes that they made foolish mistakes in the past. I'm seeing here the Ten of Cups. They see that they messed up their wish fulfillment. They're happily ever after. They see that it was you that they were supposed to be with and not this person. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. There's three of wands. This divine masculine's turning their back on the situation. There's a lot of things. Divine feminine, you have spiritual gifts. You're very intuitive, right? I feel like you're picking up on this. You're picking up on this energy. You, This is your divine counterpart, and there is a lot going on here with this divine masculine. Powerful shifts are going on. Oh, look, when I just flipped the deck over. This divine masculine is very protective over you. We have the seven of wands. This is a this con connection is protected. This divine masculine's been in love with you this whole time. And I feel like you, divine feminine, have been carrying feelings in your heart for this divine masculine this whole time. There's been a lot of suppression, I feel like, in denying emotions because of whatever took place, you couldn't move on from that at that time. Or it was like, I'm getting the unthinkable, something about the unthinkable, something that this divine masculine did. And it was like, there was no coming back from it. But that does not change the feelings. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Whatever took place. It didn't change the emotions. The love is still there. That's what's hidden. There is a lot of hidden emotions. And I feel like for some of you guys... Divine Feminine, a lot of you have tried to replace this person with other people. And it hasn't worked. This is a twin flame union. A twin flame separation right now. This is a twin flame separation. Heavy twin flame energy here. Pisces energy on the board. You could be a Pisces. Your person could be a Pisces. You could have Pisces in your chart. Please give us more, Spirit. Please give us more. This person's making a move to come towards you. I feel like this person is hoping that time has healed the wounds, right? Judgment. time to face those hidden feelings is what I'm getting. I'm seeing the phoenix rising from the ashes, second chances. Split the deck. I see a victory. And I see choices. Wow. It was their past choices that caused this tower moment. This person made poor choices in the past. 
you guys are still you guys are still in contact spiritually high priestess card you guys have still your souls are still in contact even though you guys are separated all of this time Even though this Divine Masculine has been out in the cold, there's been this separation, there's been this no contact, you guys have been, your souls, I'm picking up like, I'm picking up on that because both of you are awakened at this point, right? You guys are both, because that's what this shift is about with Divine Masculine. This is not where there's... They're no, they're not aligned with this person. And this person knows it. And they know it's you, you're the one. Somehow this person knows that it's you that this divine masculine has truly wanted all of this time. You may know this person. You may know this is a this third party, you may know them, right? They may know you. See, Divine Feminine, this is someone that wanted what you had. I just got that energy. This is someone that wanted what you had. And so they got it, but they're not you. So it wasn't what they thought. They, th they have someone that loves you. So they have the person that you had, but they have the person that you had that still loves you. Okay. Wow. They could never be you. I'm seeing that. Look, this divine masculine is done playing. I feel like it's been like... It's like this divine masculine has been playing a role this whole time. And they're awakening. They can't take it anymore. They're tired. They're not happy. I'm seeing feathers. Somebody could be seeing feathers, white feathers, signs and synchronicities. Yeah. Something significant with white feathers here. This divine masculine realizes they, what you have is deeper than the surface level. This divine masculine finds you extremely attractive. I'm getting there's a lot of fantasizing about you. All of this is going on while they're in union with somebody else. And this is a, this union is coming to an end with this third party, right? I'm seeing a victory. I'm seeing this tower moment. Their choices in, had ended them up in this tower moment. This could have been the person that came in between you guys in the past. This could have been what caused that difficult ending. That's why this person has a deeper understanding or a knowing that this divine masculine truly loves you. So you pulled your energy back in the past is what I'm getting from this divine masculine because this person, something about them, it was like there was something going on or you picked up that something was going on or you felt as though this divine masculine was attracted to this person. Meanwhile, this person was copycatting you, but they never embodied your essence, right? But I feel like this divine masculine ended up in union with this person. And that's where they've been ever since. Miserable. And this person knows this divine masculine loves you. So. It's like there. It's like there's chaos and confusion. They're arguing over you. But this has been an extended period of time and you're still coming up, Divine Feminine. You are still coming up. 
I feel like this third party has been accusing this divine masculine of still having feelings for you. But now, I just got, there's been a confession. This divine masculine confirmed it. This divine masculine then can confess their love for you to this person, to this third party. Because I feel like they, it's, this has been going on, like these accusations. So it appeared on the outside, I'm getting, on the outside, it appeared that this divine masculine has been happy. They were taking things to the next level. I feel like there's been a lot of illusions. This third party, this feminine has been creating these illusions. This divine masculine has been in love with you this whole time. This is someone you least expect too. But what I can tell you is it was a difficult ending. This is someone from your past. This is an ex. This is an ex of yours. There was a difficult ending. Mm. Spirit, please give us more. Judgment. I'm seeing second chance and then the six of wands after that. That's a victory. Spirit, please give us more. I can't make this up. This divine masculine is taking action to come back towards you. Get ready, divine feminine. Because you're getting ready to get an unexpected visitor and a love offer. You're getting ready to get an unexpected visitor and a love offer. So this divine masculine really had to come to terms with their emotions. But I feel like you still carry this divine masculine in your heart. Oh, wow. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. An abundant future awaits. This divine masculine, something has changed with them financially as well is what I'm getting. Third party is losing it. They knew this divine masculine loved you the whole time. I feel like this is someone for some of you guys that came in between this connection in the past or they had been watching and they wanted your position, but they got your position with somebody that's still in love with you. Go figure. Oh my goodness. Spare, please give us more. Mm, 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 mm. King of Swords, head over heart. That's confirmation for me. This King of Swords, yeah. This King of Swords said confirmation. I do love Divine Feminine. I am still in love with Divine Feminine. I don't know why I'm here. So the mask came off with this person. And I feel like this Divine Masculine is very cold and very, look, King of Swords, very cold with their communication. Oh, yes. Ooh. This is, wow. Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Nurturing energy. You're like a nurturing energy. Loving this divine masculine is what I'm getting. You love them. You show them unconditional love, but you also had their back. There was a level of loyalty and strength, that gentle strength that you had. You never wavered. You never folded. But it was this third party to cause you to pull your energy back. 
You never wavered with this divine masculine. You had them like nobody else had them. This divine masculine realizes they were foolish to even think that they could ever have or find someone like you again. Yes. There's something with this divine masculine where it's like, and I feel like with anyone, loyalty is a priority, right? Loyalty is absolutely a priority, but there's something that this divine masculine, that loyalty is a must. It's very important to this divine masculine. And the mask came off with this third party. I'm getting a long time ago. So remember I said there was, there's something there's something happening in this union with this divine masculine in this third party that is triggering the memories of how real your love was. And this is all the universe working to bring you guys back into union. That's why this divine masculine is being triggered. This divine masculine was never happy where they were at. They were always still in love with you. But it's like whatever this situation was that took place between you guys and this difficult ending, this divine masculine knew that there was never a way. They couldn't go back. They couldn't come back to you as much as they wanted to. The boundaries were set. So it was like this divine masculine is settling in this situation. But it's like source, the divine, the energy, right, is shifting. Because your divine counterparts, it's time for that twin flame reunion to happen. There's time, it's time for you guys to reconcile. Yes, this is why the feelings never went away. Come through, spirit. You guys are bound by a soul agreement, a soul contract. Yes. There it is. There's the 1111 showing up again. So I'm this divine masculine is out in the cold from you even though they're in union with someone else. It's like they're still out in the cold. The universe is saying it's time for harmony. It's time for you to come back together. You've got a lock on this divine masculine's heart. And this divine masculine got a lock on yours too, divine feminine. Your divine counterparts. You are divine counterparts, right? Yes. The universe said it's time for harmony. It's time for reconciliation. The lesson's been learned. This divine masculine has been sitting here nostalgic about you. Just, I'm getting, reflecting on the memories, right? Reflecting on memories and, you know, I'm getting with that full card showing up. They want a new beginning, but also this divine masculine is, this divine masculine is deep, deeply thinking about how they went wrong and how they wronged you, right? They want you to see them in a different light. This divine masculine wants you to tap in and see them in a different light. I feel like the universe wants you to Tap into your higher self. There's an element. I feel like forgiveness is needed. Forgiveness and patience. That's what I'm getting. But there was some betrayal. The betrayal. That's what I'm getting here. See? Oh, look. World card. A new cycle. And the page of cups.
This is new energy. This is, I'm seeing with the Page of Cups, I'm seeing, it's like moving slow. I'm seeing patience, right? Followed by a huge love offer. Mm-hmm. I'm seeing a new cycle. You mean the world to this Divine Masculine. We have the world card here. So you do mean the world, but I'm also seeing here this Divine Masculine, they're coming towards you. And I feel like, and I'm picking up on this energy. I'm telling these Divine Masculines. Oh, yes. So I feel like this Divine Masculine is definitely going to let their intentions be known. They're not... In the past, I feel like this Divine Masculine. Now, this is going back to, I feel like, even like when I was picking up on the music that you may be hearing that is reminding you of this Divine Masculine. It's like, it's a different era. So there could have been a, an extended amount of time in between this, right? And this Divine Masculine was very hot and cold. Off and on with you, this is a completely different energy. This is a more mature energy. They're different. And this Divine Masculine is going to let their intentions be known. So I feel like there's slow movement, but this Divine Masculine wants is going to let you know. They want a long-term commitment. Mm-hmm. This love offer is about to be real. So this is a lot, Divine Feminine, because this is someone that you, the person you least expect, but the person you carry in your heart. If that makes sense for some of you guys, or because this is who this is. This is someone from your past that you carry in your heart. I can't make it up, y'all. Queen of Cups. This is this is someone that you loved unconditionally. You overextended yourself with this person. I feel like more than anyone, right? This is your divine counterpart. That soul activation was made. That soul activation was made when you guys were together. And I'm getting it was years ago for some of you guys. But the activation was made. Two of Pentacles. This Divine Masculine was juggling. This Divine Masculine was juggling multiple energies. That's what happened. And I feel like this person that they're in union with, they were around then. Wow. So this person... I feel like manipulation, illusions, because the mask is off. This person acted like they were a divine feminine. This divine masculine thought that they could, this divine masculine was very different. This divine masculine was very different with this third party. So they got someone that, this third party got this divine masculine they got someone that was hurting, that was in love with you, and that someone that was in union with them, but non-committal. This third party got someone that was non-committal, but was in union with them, that was still in love with you. Uh-huh. Hopefully that resonated with someone. Because I'm tapping into this Divine Masculine's energy. Yeah. And now this Divine Masculine, this Divine Masculine was hurting. Right? But they felt as though they could fill the void with this third party. And they didn't have to do, they didn't have to show up like how you, how your Divine Energy guided them to show up this divine masculine was not ready to ascend 
It was like this divine masculine was looking for the easy way, right? When they broke your heart, they broke their own heart. And this divine masculine's been in this union brokenhearted over you ever since, divine feminine. Mm. Wow. This divine masculine. There's something to do with competition. I feel like this divine masculine is wondering who's in your energy. For some of you guys, you could be seeing someone. Mm -hmm. This divine masculine is very resourceful. I feel like spying and getting information. Yeah. Five of Cups. A lot of regret. The divine masculine regrets fumbling this protected union, this protected connection. Wow. Look. This divine masculine is bringing their cup of love for a romantic union with you, divine feminine. I'm seeing here seven of swords. Why is the seven of swords here, spirit? Why is the seven of swords here? I'm getting some type of sneaky energy. Why is the Seven of Swords here? We have Gemini energy here, but we also have the Seven of Swords, right? So I'm seeing this Divine Masculine is in deep regret, and they're bringing their cup of love back to you. There's some sneaky energy here, though, right? Seven of Swords. Why is that here? You don't trust them. There's trust issues with the Empress. Uh-huh. That's you, Divine Feminine. Uh-huh. So I'm seeing you don't trust them. Spirit, please give us more. There's trust issues, right? Eight of Pentacles. There's transformation, though. Wow, we're going back and forth now in the reading. So I feel like you don't trust them. And this Divine Masculine wants you to know that they've changed. There's transformation. They're no longer in that low vibrational codependent energy butterflies you could be seeing butterflies right there's all types of signs and synchronicities and not only in nature when i say that you could be seeing things it's not necessarily in nature you could be seeing it on your timeline you could be seeing it on your feed on social media um things on tv right someone could have a butterfly tattoo you could have someone that you know or recently seen a butterfly tattoo so things like that right so when i mention these signs and synchronicities it doesn't necessarily have to be um an actual butterfly in nature it could be you know a figment right yes so i'm seeing here oh mm. So now the next card, I'm seeing the devil card, right? So it's like you don't trust this divine masculine. This divine masculine wants you to change, wants you to see that they've changed. They want you to see, look at things through a different set of eyes, through your higher level of consciousness, right? Now, you guys, divine energy, you guys, there's transparency. You can definitely see through one another, right? You can see each other's intentions, right? You can actually feel it. You're part of the same soul. There's that deep soul connection, right? But it's like I'm seeing back and forth here. Back and forth. So now it's like this divine masculine realizes that they're going to need to prove themselves to you. With the devil card showing up here, controlling manipulative energy, right? So this is something to where, as I feel like this divine masculine could have been a bit controlling in the past, or this could be this divine masculine's current protective energy, some possessiveness going on here. Yeah, so just that caveat, because this divine masculine does not want to ever be without you again. Okay, so I'm picking up on an element of some you know, possessive type of energy here. I'm seeing here King of Pentacles, right? Mm. 
this divine masculine knows that they need to treat you a certain way. Now, this is their energy, right? This divine masculine feels as though they didn't show up for you. Something about financially or materially, something to do with that. They feel as though they didn't show up for you in the past. And they want to do that going forward because I'm seeing that nurturing side of the King of Pentacles with this feminine energy, right? Mm-hmm. And right after that, I'm seeing an offer, but there's something, a material, something they want to give you. There's something that of value, something, a material, a token of their love is what I'm getting. There's something that they want to give to you, right? This divine masculine realizes that they have their work cut out for them. But I just heard, just know that I've grown. So there's a transformation here. Being open and knowing that there has been time that has passed and this divine masculine has grown. But this is someone that you least expect, divine feminine. I feel like it's someone you never imagined that's going to be coming towards you. And it's like... This is going to be a surprise. This is an unexpected visitor, right? After all this time, I don't know why I keep getting that, but I feel like after all of this time, they're still arguing about you. This third party is still bringing you up. So not only is this divine masculine detaching, they're no longer in frequency with this third party but they keep bringing you up so they keep reminding divine masculine of you and they're helping the this divine masculine manifest you look with the magician card heavy manifestation so they're arguing about you and they're just speaking you into existence but this divine masculine is very protective of you divine feminine So this divine masculine may have actually, something took place, you know, where this divine masculine had to check this third party about what they were saying about you. Because there's some jealous energy here. Don't mistake it. See? Breaking this no contact, ending this separation with the queen of swords. Oh. Queen of Swords, yes. Breaking no contact. This divine masculine, they bold. Mm-hmm. They're bold. But what I'm getting here, this divine masculine knows. This divine masculine knows there's no way that you cannot still have feelings for them or that you don't still love them because the feelings that they have for you. This divine masculine is tapped in. They're tapped in now. I told you. Strength. This is different. They're different now. That's what I'm getting. Leo energy on the board. Mm-hmm. See, look at this. The feminine energy, the feminine side of the king of wands. Now that's giving me that this divine masculine knows that they need to take action to do things differently with you. They may not have treated you in a way like, you know, dating or taking you out, doing things, things like that. This divine masculine knows they need to nurture that energy as well. See, this divine masculine has had some time to think. So they know how they're going to handle things. You, this is, child, you about to be happy. That's what I'm seeing here. This is real, mm, this is good energy. Look, this, that difficult ending and that tower moment that you guys had, that hurt. And this divine masculine been over here living in misery. Living in misery without you. Yeah. Because they thought that they would never be able to rebuild this with you. There was no coming back. And I feel like Divine Feminine, it was a difficult ending. You definitely closed down because I'm seeing that Queen of Swords. You set them boundaries, but it was like nothing was ever the same after this, right? That's because it's your twin flame. Yeah. 
Knight of Pentacles. This is my masculine's focus on getting back on the right track with you, the emperor, period. This your emperor. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is your emperor. Look at that. Mm-hmm. This is no more off and on, hot and cold type of energy. I feel like this divine masculine was very off and on with you. They, they were not consistent with you, right? Yeah. Huh. Things changing around here. Because this divine masculine been over here just living in misery, just existing. Right? They want their divine feminine back. And I feel like they were suppressing these emotions and denying it. Right? They were denying these emotions for you, divine feminine. Because they knew they couldn't have you. But now this divine masculine is like they got to try. They're hoping that time has healed these wounds and that you have the ability or you will find it in yourself, some forgiveness. They're holding out hope that you'll give it a chance and look at them from a different perspective. Justice. Look. Oh. Justice. Three of Pentacles. Oh, and the Five of Swords. Okay, so Divine Masculine's not playing. If there's somebody else in your energy, I'm seeing here, this Divine Masculine's coming to build a future. They're not coming to play, and they don't feel like anyone else... It's like this divine masculine feels like there is no one else for you but them. I had to shuffle to that. This divine masculine feels like there is no one else for you but them. I'm seeing Libra energy on the board. And they want to rebuild this. A brick by brick, brick, by brick. Y'all, I can't even talk. This divine masculine, child... They coming in with a new type of presence. I don't feel like you're used to this divine feminine. Not from this divine masculine because they were all over the place. They were fragmented. They were distorted. I feel like insecure in the past, right? But this is a new energy, two of wands. They're trying to figure out how to come back towards you and I'm seeing the sun which is a bright new beginning, okay? And then the Wheel of Fortune, well now, well now, I'm seeing the Sun card and uh, the Wheel of Fortune, the Two of Wands. This third party is like arguing with this Divine Masculine and this Divine Masculine is steady looking the other way, like where's my Divine Feminine at? I gotta get out of here. That's the type of energy I'm getting, y'all. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I'm seeing the sun card and the wheel of fortune. So I'm seeing a bright new beginning. And I'm also seeing with the wheel of fortune, very good karma. Good karma. Positive karma, right? Positive new beginnings. Wow. What else we got, spirit? Uh-huh. What else we got here? Ooh. Third party's losing it because they feel like you have some type of influence over this divine masculine. They feel like it has to be something like spell work or some type of curse or a hex that you put on this divine masculine. Because how after all of this time, this divine masculine is still in love with you. Yeah, that feminine side of the emperor, right? So that very strong knowing what they want. And knowing that they want to nurture this union with you, see, hangman, a new perspective, right? This is what this divine masculine wants. And I feel like you are going to be able to see things differently. Third party's losing it over this influence. Yeah, they feel like it's an influence. You've done something. You've had to have done something to this divine masculine. Mm -mm, it's just you guys coming back into balance. It's source. It's the universe bringing you guys back into balance because it's time. 
It's time for this twin flame reunion to happen. It's time for you to reconcile. Mm-hmm. I'm seeing action. Knight of Wands. This divine masculine taking action to come towards you. Uh-huh. Wow. Third party energy. Mm-hmm. Imagine that. Three of Cups. And they're seeing, it's this third party that's seeing this King of Swords, right? So it's like this coldness with them. That King of Swords, I'm getting severing ties, cutting ties with this third party. And I'm seeing, look at this, the Eight of Wands, right? So it's this gentle decision-making side with this Divine Masculine coming back towards you, Divine Feminine. And look, I'm seeing the Eight of Wands. So this shift is happening soon, right? That's what I'm getting, right? Expect an, an unexpected visitor. This is somebody you least expect. Somebody you never imagine is about to make an appearance. They're about to make a surprise appearance is what I'm getting. Yes. A surprise appearance, an unexpected visitor. I'm seeing, look, five of wands, some type of chaos and conflict. That's what's going on with this Divine Masculine in this third party. Because they're taking action to come towards you, Divine Feminine. Because they love you. Look. Oh, because they love you. Wow. So I'm seeing that King of Cups, right? That strong presence, masculine energy, deeply in love with you. But I'm also seeing this Divine Masculine, the King of Cups, showing that nurturing energy to you that they did not show in the past. This Divine Masculine wants to build. King of Pentacles. This Divine Masculine's on their stuff now. Mm-hmm. They're on their game now. They know what they want, who they want. They're full grown now. Fully assembled right fully grown fully assembled and they want a second chance to make things right so i feel like this is something again this is something from your past a distant past for some of you guys and this is someone that definitely wants to get things right this time mm. Mm -hmm. what else we got spirit oh yes coming to harvest they come in the harvest. They're divine feminine. Yes. You're their wish fulfillment. Ace of Cups. It don't get no better than this. For the beginning of a love union, it don't get no better. That's a cup of love. Flowing over divine feminine. Love flowing over. This divine masculine wants to show you the love that you showed them. Did they fumbled in the past? Yes. What else we got? Mm-hmm. Ace of Cups. That's the cup you want to see for a new beginning, child. What? What else we got here? They are in their head. Hoping that you don't reject them. It has been some time. It's been some time. I'm getting that, right? This is something that's like completely unexpected out of the blue is what I'm getting. Mm-hmm. Mm. Eight of Cups. That wish fulfillment, right? Here's that communication. I feel like this divine masculine is really coming to let you know like how they feel. This is not what you're used to with this divine masculine. Get ready, divine feminine. This divine masculine, whoa. A deep spiritual knowing. We got the hierophant card, this divine masculine having a deep spiritual knowing for this connection. I'm seeing here two of swords. They have done the work. They come in to break this no contact. And they're hoping that you're still single. Because again, 
they realize you're their wish granted from the universe, right? But they're being brought back into alignment. You guys are being guided back to each other. That's why you're thinking about this divine masculine so heavily. And this is why this divine masculine is coming out of this union and taking action. So it's like this leap of faith. But I feel like this divine masculine has felt this for some time, but they have never felt the need to act on it until now. So it's like almost like this divine masculine is like not even control in control of their actions as far as coming towards you because they're being guided. They're being guided towards you, right? Because you guys are being brought back into balance. Mm hmm. This divine masculine has been burdened with this for for years is what I'm getting an extended period of time. Sagittarius energy on the board. They want to come back into alignment with you. You guys are being brought back into alignment is what I'm getting. This is beautiful energy, but I feel like it's unexpected. It's definitely unexpected. Divine feminine. Yeah. This is some I feel like you never imagined this. You're going to be shocked, right? Now it could be a faded meeting, but I feel like this is This is like the energy. This person's showing up to your door. Yeah, like they're showing up to your door or something like that. Divine feminine. Yeah. Or you may get a message because it's been an extended period of time. If you guys still live in the same place, like you're, you know, have lived there for years or something like that, this, this is that person, I feel like. Yeah. For some of you guys, right? Like, or you're going to be getting a message out of the blue from someone, from a number that you don't know. Child, this person's looking you up. That's why I'm getting that spying energy. This person wants to know what's going on in your life, but also, too, this person, they want to know. They're trying to find out where you are or get your contact information is what I'm getting. That's why they're looking you up. Child, let's get some more. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. What is it that the, the collective needs to know going forward with this connection? Ooh, Divine Feminine, get ready. What else we got here? No rain today. See, this Divine Masculine is done with being apart from you and being in this situation and suppressing their emotions for you. This Divine Masculine is done. I'm seeing there is no rain today. No clouds in the sky today. This Divine masculine's happy because they done made up their mind. And remember we seen the sun card? They made up their mind, right? Third party mad because you got that. It's like they feel like you're doing something like spell work or something or put this divine masculine under or there is a hex or something. Yeah, because you it's like they feel like you still got this control. They're like down here in this boat, right? But you're sitting up here and still got all of this influence over this divine masculine. That empress. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This third party's jealous. I'm seeing that Empress energy. Mm-hmm. Healing, loving, nurturing. Pure love. And now there's a shift. The divine masculine's taking a new direction, and that's to come back towards you. Uh-huh. What else we got, spirit? Yeah, they feel like it's your influence, right? You're doing something. This third party really feels like you're doing something. This got this divine masculine coming back towards you or keep coming back towards you. Child, look. A change in seasons. A change in seasons, right? A change in seasons and I'm seeing something to do with morning dew early in the day so this person could be reaching out to you early in the day but there's a change in the seasons 
So within the next solstice, I'm hearing solstice. Something when the seasons are changing, this person is coming towards you or there's going to be a shift. Oh, what's this? Oh, sunny day. There's something to do with the seasons changing. Something to do with the next season's change. Whenever you get this message, there's going to be a shift with this person. There's going to be a shift. Things are going to turn around. Yeah. A new day. With their empress. Child. Spirit, please give us more. Please give us more for the collective. They realize they got a long way to go, but they're on their way. I'm seeing a long way. But you're like home to them, but they feel like they're a long way from home. Something to do with a hot air balloon or balloons. You could be seeing balloons. Something to do with balloons, right? Yes. Yeah. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. Hmm. But this divine masculine, they're trying to find you. That's what I'm seeing with this balloon. Like, it's like, see, floating around trying to find you. They were, it's like they were focused on the wrong thing is what I'm seeing here. House of Flowers. They was focused on and having all of this conflict within this union with this person when who they love was on the outside. That's what I'm getting here. Yeah. Oh, child. I'm seeing they put not the rest. Somebody trying to create problems. But I'm seeing this divine masculine taking tiny steps. Remember, we seen that with the page of cups. So slowly coming towards you is what I'm getting. And I'm seeing elixir of life. So you're the antidote. This love is the antidote. Because they love you to the moon and back. To the moon and back. It is your love that is the elixir of life. I'm seeing here for them, right? They're freeing themselves from this situation. Come through spirit, liberty. I'm seeing... Freeing their self from this situation. Coming towards your rose garden. Thorns and all. Queen of swords. Yes. Taking a leap of faith. Uh-huh. Wow. Under my umbrella. Mmm. Under your umbrella. Oh, child, because you have the key to their heart. Child, divine feminine, this is something else. And this is, all of this is coming from someone that you're, it's like you least expect, right? You're a gift. They realize you were a gift. Their wish fulfillment, transformation. Somebody thinks you're, this third party thinks you're doing something. They feel like you're doing something. Or this is this third party trying to do something. They feel like you have some type of magic, some type of mystical, magical energy over this divine masculine. And I feel like they're trying to do something. I just heard something to do with divination or it could be a practitioner. They're going to see someone because they're trying to counteract your magic and this is it's your essence this is your divine counterpart there's no magic and it's the divine that's bringing you guys back into union there's this is the universe guiding you guys back together this third party's trying to do spell work because this love is blossoming all over again between you and this divine masculine 
they're trying to dispel any get rid of any hope of that happening miss sunshine somebody this third party is referring to you as miss sunshine or something like that because this divine masculine there it's like this divine masculine gets like their energy shifts with anything to do with you so i feel like they're referring to you as miss sunshine but it's like look they know that this journey is starting again why is somebody saying can you hear me they're arguing over you right They hold you at a very high, you're the privileged lady. They hold you in high honor. I'm seeing my home is my castle. So you're not, somebody is trying to say you're for the streets, but I'm seeing my home is my castle. So like you are, this divine masculine holds you and they respect a very high degree of respect. And I'm seeing here, you're like home to them. And my home is my castle. That's what this Divine Masculine had to check this third party about. Remember I said it, treasured memories. This Divine Masculine's been reflecting on treasured memories. This is a protected connection. Oh, chow. Protective nest, right? And under my umbrella... This Divine Masculine is fully grown and fully assembled is what I'm getting. Very different energy. Very strong masculine presence. What else we got, Spirit? Ooh, what's that card? Hang on, you guys. Let me grab this card really quick. Mm -mm. What we got here? Ciao. This love is rare. Mermaid love. It is a rare connection. Can't nobody come between this connection? No. Even though, because that's what it is with those twin flame energies, and it's not easy. These twin flame connections are not easy, but you guys can be apart for years and still come back together, right? It's when that lesson's learned and when the universe says it's time, yeah, and the universe is moving you guys back into union. You can feel that magnetic pull. That's why you're picking up on this person's energy. What else we got, spirit? Oh, ciao. Spying. The observer. I told you, this is my masculine is spying. Oh, ciao. Red garden. Mm-hmm. This is my masculine finds you beautiful watching you your beauty something about your beauty they're out in the cold stranded but not for long is what i'm getting because look taking flight coming back towards you thank you spirit all is connected it's just a matter of time y'all i'm leaving this reading here thank you guys so so much for stopping by i will see you for your next reading until next time guys take care love ya bye